Hello, speed gaming. Uh, we have the Randomized League Season 2 Finals today between Kip and Asder. Uh, looks like some slight technical difficulties uh, with the stream setup, but that should be fixed momentarily. And this is going to be an amazing, amazing finals. Both of these players, Oster and Kip, are incredibly, incredibly mechanically strong. We're a lot of times you go into random races, and one of the first questions you ask is, what tricks can each runner do? And for both of these runners, the answer is all of them. Yeah, I could all spend hours yeah, on the, uh, the skills and the experience of both players. But I'd say, you know, at, to keep it short, Azder has a slight advantage in terms of just pure experience, how much randomizers played. But I think uh, Kip is slightly faster runner. Yeah, we'd say that Kip definitely has the edge in pure mechanics. And as Plumas said, um, Osdor has the edge of um, having played more randos, so Osdor is going to have an edge there. Yeah, and apologies for the. Uh the stream, they're kind of sorting the thing out right now. So if this, ma if this match follows the last one, this is going to be a major minor. Next game two, it's going to be a Chozo. And the game three, if it exists, will be, um, each gets to veto one of Chozo, major minor, and full rando. Uh, yep, exactly. Um, and personally, I I would really love to see that third game, especially considering this is the final match. Um, since I feel like boss rando just really makes the uh, dynamic of randomizer uh, much more interesting. We absolutely agree, and we really, really want to see. We want we want to see more stuff randomized. We want to see stuff that doesn't get seen very often. We want stuff that tests skills that aren't just just aren't tested by a normal, by major, minor seed or chozo seed. So we see Kip doing the lead grab climb up here, having some problems with it. But but problem but not having any problems with that with it at the important points. Yeah, I'm not gonna Kip. spoil everything that I'm seeing, but Azure has actually decided to uh, on his uh, in his game he's been taking a meme route. So we will we have already had a divergence in the beginning of, of the seed. That is amazing. So it's really, really common for the player who is mechanically weaker to try and force rat divergence, and it sounds like that's exactly what Ajdor has done. Yeah, Mimro is kind of a risk, though. Um, like, it, it's a it's a good option when, uh, for example, they're still both looking for super missiles. So if super missiles are around the big pink, then Ajdor uh, takes the lead. But uh, if super missiles are not around there, then Azure's going to be missing out on uh, some item checks, which could cost them time. So, in, in Major Minor, it's significantly less of a problem to go meme route. Major Minor is basically the only time that you actually can go meme route. Because Big Pink is incredibly powerbomb hungry, but, in major, but Major Minor makes it much less powerbomb hungry. Austria needs to not die. And Austria not dying with no problem. So Oster has found Plasma. Yeah, I think Azur missed out on the Wavy item. That's about it so far. And Kip is going to check uh, back Gauntlet. So it's still looking for those first supers.
And none there. Yeah, but Oster is has made all the way. Oster is all the way to Brinstar Reserve on the way back up and hasn't found supers, so. Yeah, it could be one of those seeds. Um and Okay, no, so no supers here either. Yeah, so both players have checked to all the locations and there's no supers, so it's possible that the only supers are behind Spospo. Oh wait, no, 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 there's one more location for Oster to check. Um, I'd say, yeah, the two, the two, uh, trolliest locations would be Sports Spawn and, uh, Billy Maze, actually. Because no one checks Billy Maze. It's not a worthwhile check, but the runners will have to completely go all the way back if those are the only super missiles available. So where, where haven't they checked yet? There's still an option. Um, I mean, besides the two locations I mentioned, I th I think they've checked everything, to be honest. Yeah, that's exactly that's where that's what we're thinking. But like, a lot of times when we do that, we're we're just missing a location. So Oster checking the back have a gauntlet. Going to be very disappointed. Uh, so for possible locations, it, ha it has to be before uh, Spore Spawn because of the green door there. And it can't be anywhere east of landing site either because there's also a green door. Yeah, so there's a green door. There's a green door on the way to the red tower and the green door at the landing site, both of which lock the red tower out. Oster did check the Eticoon peeps. Yeah, they checked like every single uh, convenient location besides the two slow ones. So, it looks like Oster's gonna check Gauntlet now. Actually, it's a also blindfolded random race. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh no, I was saying it's also interesting to see that um, besides supers, they've only had five power bombs too, so um, they won't have access to getting the gauntlet. And I think Azure realizes that this he's gonna have to gamble on a one of Billy Mays and sports or sports bond for his supers. Yeah, Kip can't be happy with this either. So Oster is probably gonna hit up. Well, Kip. Kip has to hit up Spospo before there. Yeah, because of where Kip is. Because Azer took Memer out, he has not checked this. Uh, he just checked 230, and he's going down toward uh, Old Mother Brain. So he's definitely gonna stop by Billy Mays first. And Billy Mays is faster if you're in the area. Um. And for Kip, Billy Mays is stuck behind a green door. So. If it, if the first supers are at are at Billy Mays, that's going to be a huge advantage for Oster. Like given how mechanically strong both of these players are and how even they are in skill, where supers are could decide the race. Yeah, I mean it's 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 a race now because Kips you know, reached at the end of his checks, he's gonna, yep, definitely save here. He's checking uh, Spore Spawn now. So if the Supers at Spore Spawn, Kip will be ahead. But uh, if the Supers are at Billy Maze, it's gonna be a much bigger lead for Aster. Yeah, if Supers are at Spore Spawn, it'll be a small lead for Kip. If Supers are at Billy Maze, it's gonna be a major lead for Aster. That was neat how they changed the Spore Spawn save. We hadn't seen that before. We were thinking that Kip was going to be stuck farming for two percent power bomb for a two percent power bomb drop, and there they are! There they are! Yeah, Azur finds uh, supers at Billy Maze, so Kip it's could still, still 
Yeah, Kip's still mentioning, or chat's still mentioning, Kip can find supers here too, but it is looking uh, much less likely now. Unfortunately, Kip doesn't have a charge beam, otherwise Kip could just two-shot switch over charge. Yeah, this is uh, not a fight you want to do without charge beam or super missiles. Makes it even slower. Yeah, there's some two-round magic, which is really just black magic. It involves hitting Spospo with missiles as Spospo's opening, which doesn't trigger the close. So we haven't mentioned how awesome the Kip's skin is. Like, that's a really cool looking Stamus. And we have a stream! We have a stream for Oster! Oh, there are supers at Spostpo. Wow! <laughs> that That's... That's pretty interesting. Okay, well, we still have a race. Um, we have a race. I don't honestly want to say that. This kind of favors Kit. Because the problem with Azur is, I was mentioning the five PBs. You need a lot of PBs to get to Billy Mays. Um, and because of that, Azur could... And he's forced back up toward landing site. So this... Honestly, I feel like this pigeonholes Azur into... Go an early wreck ship. Oster wanted to do early wreck ship anyway, otherwise that's why Oster did me rat. Yeah, that's true too. I mean, I'm not sure what he would have done if Aster had a choice to go to Red Tower. Um He would have gone to the wreck ship. Okay. Like it... route leads directly to the wreck ship. Oh yeah, no, that that's true too. Yeah. He doesn't have the best items though, I'd say. Cause I believe he only has Plasma beam? Can't really give any, anything else to pick up. Oster's fine. At, at this level, at this level, um, the boat poses no problems, and deaths to Fantoons po pose no real problem. The only thing that Oster is missing is uh, is the check for um. The only thing that Oster is really missing is um the wave gate check, and that was just an E tank. Oh, yes, yeah, it looks like, yeah, that was just neat. We'd expect Kip to go down, but it's possible that Kip decides to go up. Kip fully mechanically capable of doing whatever he wants. Kip fully mechanically capable of doing an even early x ray. And we have route divergence! We have route divergence! Let's go, we have a race! Yeah, I kind of like seeing this from Kip because I think Kip's one of those players that uh, goes down more often than other players. He is completely comfortable with stuff like a uh, high jumpless lava dive. Uh, so he, I know Kip tries to attack seeds um, in a kind of a safe way, Ch you know, checking a lot of locations, but using his mechanics, really. <laughs> and as they're getting that CWJ that was required for him, and he's on his way toward Phantom. Oster graduates from swimming lessons and, so and successfully gets over the moat. So, guesses in chat. Do you think that Oster is going to do the half ship or a full ship? Oster really likes to do the half ship. We have a vote for half. And Kip, Kip, Kip on his way to the dance. We'll see whether Kip manages to avoid the dance or not. Or him and Crate are going on a date. I like the uh, power bomb there. I believe it's recent discovery to reduce lag in the room. 
is that wait, does that actually reduce lag? We thought that was mostly just a bomb set up to be in the right position for the quick kill. Oh, and I then, wouldn't know. I mean, I don't run any percent. And Kip would have very much so preferred to use regular bombs, but didn't have any. We were a bit worried for Kip because that was like Kip's last power bomb. And Kip could have been stuck farming for a long time if, for a power bomb if, if um he didn't get one. But he did okay, get one as a drop. It looks like Chad's saying that it is for lag because of uh, one of his attacks exists out of bounds. Uh, but anyways, Kip only finding. Oh, that's high trade. That is absolutely fascinating that the peep can reduce lag. This game never ceases to amaze us. And Aster, with a very nice fan tune fight, looks like. Not have much trouble with that at all. And Kip is going to have no problem whatsoever with Hell Runs. Kip rank 3 in RBO. All the experience in the world. Ooh, speed booster is nice. And That's Kip's going to have his, even easier Hell Runs. You know, completely bypass the Cathedral Hell Run. Oster is very much so taking a gamble on charge. Yeah, that's another important, I guess, partially luck factor of... Ooh, high jump boots for Azur. Good start. We can uh, feel the, the jealousy yeah. from Kip right now. Yes, definitely. Uh, the luck factor of whether to go charge or chargeless, because that one item location can really determine how much time you lose or save um, by choosing one route. Especially at this level, that can very, very easily decide the game. And Azur is not taking the save before Spiky Room. Oster very lucky to find high, to find um, high jump there, because that made the. Otherwise, Oster would have had to save and try to do a very tight power bomb jump in order to actually get to the E tank. Which is definitely one of the tricks that we consider to be more difficult. Oh, yes, the, I absolutely hate the sponge bathroom. And let's see what we have at the Wretched B tank. It is just the vanilla e tank. So now we get to find out whether Oster keeps going or not. It looks like Kip has found Wave. I'd say it's actually an option for Aster to go down because he found high jump boots, but. Um, yeah, it'd be pretty risky, because usually he tends to go down when he finds the suit. Also, he doesn't have speed booster either. Kip yeah, finding it's all good. another reserve tank. It's all a game of probabilities. And Oster has them all mapped out in his head. Oster continuing through the ship. Could be much easier with Plasma than without. Yep, pretty interesting, but... Um, we, na we know from where speed is, this is gonna be... Pretty disappointing to him if he finds uh, a suit locked behind the Rex Ship Reserve. That was a, that's a huge part of the gamble that Oz took by going up, knowing that they won't be able to get a suit if that happens. Oz are gonna get through this room with no trouble whatsoever. Very very mechanically strong. Yeah, the mid or morphs are actually pretty annoying. That high jump on. Ooh, nice. Just a vanilla reserve. Just a trash tank. So we have one more item check left for Kip. Or sorry for Ozder. Let's see if that let's see if that one works. So because Kip is so good at the high jump of Slava Dive, 
one of the best players at it. That's that's going to make the high jump find significantly less impactful for Uster, unless it's a suitless Meridia, in which case it will yeah. be highly impactful. Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny how how Kip absolutely loves the the boots, but he's yeah arguably one of the best players that just doesn't need the boots for anything. And that is two parts of a microwave beam. And yeah, definitely, if um, Suitless Meridia is required, then the, the route Azure is taking is uh, better for that. Getting ship out of the way first. So a nice detail to notice, Kip got back to the farm point with about 86 health, and that was entirely intentional. Kip has it mapped out in his head exactly how much health he needs with high jump, with um, with speed booster to get there and back. If he if he doesn't find an E tank, because if you do find an E tank there, then all the extra farms is a wasted time. Yep, exactly. Just little things like that to save time. Like it's kind of almost like top level any percent runners. Just small saves matter much more when your opponent is at such a high level. So, with Aster, probably pretty happy with the ship just because he did find the boots. We're still looking for a lot of really important items. Charge beam, ice beam, both suits. Gauntlet. And Aster is gambling with it on Gauntlet. Which is, which is a very, actually a really good play that we like. Because it's unlikely that Kip actually went there. So that creates instant route divergence. Yep, this gauntlet could have, as I mentioned, charge beam or ice beam, both of which would be very, very big pickups um, for Azure. And with Kip, actually no, Kip has, has he checked the reserve location? I don't think so. He has, a, I believe, three more locations to check uh, in Norfair. Ozder has been running a lot of SMI recently, so it's incredibly experienced in Gauntlet, and this is going to be very easy Gauntlet easy mode with an extra 400 health and power bombs. Kip with the amazing D-boost, yep. and Ozder finds That's bombs, enough. and does not take it. Yeah, I think Ozder realizes that this is not a seed where bombs are going to be required for anything, especially since he has uh, high jump boots. I think he's just willing to gamble and save that time. Ooh, and there's Spring Ball for Spring Kip. Ball. I smell a suitless seed. That blue door had no idea what hit it. I think as of now, it's only the croc items and x-ray. Oh, and Waterway. Okay, those are the remaining items, uh, locations in Logic. And we're fully expecting Kip Before, to wander over to Croc. Yeah, of course. Ooh, so get your... Skipping Croc. Hold on to your Croc disease and Chidi Myers until, uh, until Oster gets to Croc. Yeah, this is maybe more understandable from Kip's point of view, just because Kip obviously hasn't checked um, the entire ship and uh, a gauntlet. So this is just probably a move he's trying to make to save time. Now we believe that X-Ray is in logic with this many E-Tanks. Yeah, definitely. We, we know that bombs are accessible and also both speed and high jump are accessible with enough E tanks, X rays, and logic. We believe that X rays and logic, even without any items, as long as you have enough E tanks, but we're not fully certain of that. Oh, I know you need like one way to access it since the debu strat is not required. So I know that like bombs are one method and speed plus high jump is another method. Or and even there's spring ball plus shenanigans. Ball. Yeah. Okay, apparently according to Tracer, you do need either bombs or ice cream.
Okay, so now we're going to see both players clear up the parts that the other player didn't. At this point, we'd say that routing-wise, Oster has an advantage. Yeah, I mean, since Kip skipped the X-ray checks and waterway checks on the way out, we know that he's not going to find anything game-breaking. Like, high jump may be required, um, but it's, he's probably going to slightly regret not checking the other locations first. Yeah, and Azur is definitely doing Karak, uh, since he will also not be checking Exer or Waterway uh, first. He's going to leave those checks to the end, since uh, he hasn't checked Wavegate yet either, actually. Not having checked Wavegate actually might. Now we're really curious about Ozzer's mentality. So what do you do about the wait? What do you do about the missing Wavegate check? Do you just gam? Do you just keep going? Because if you're trying to get the best time that you can, your best. If you're playing for best average time, you absolutely want to do Wavegate earlier. But if you're trying, to, but if you're going to just try and win, then one an entirely reasonable path would be to say that if Wavegate was something good, I've already lost, so just keep going. Yeah, that's why Azure, I believe that, again, he's just going to go for speed. And if he realizes that, I mean, he's going to be checking everything in Norfair, he'll realize, okay, this seed is probably kind of slow. So it doesn't, you know, it might not matter that, you know, I ended up losing a location earlier or something and have to double back. So right, we also have Suitless Meridian logic. Or Spring Ball. Yeah, Mama Turtle is uh, open at the moment. Although with both Ice and Grapple missing, that's still less. You know, he had to be insane to gamble on Birdie this early. Well, we have two of the top runners, both playing very strongly to win. That's when a lot of exciting stuff can happen, and risks can be taken. And Kip looks like he got that two rounder. Making Van Toon look like a joke. Every two round Doppler that we see is just so beautiful. Kip even taking some extra farmers on the way out. Oster says nope to the uh, reserve. We were wondering if Oster was going to try and jump over that missile pack. Oh, Oster actually picking up. Oh, Oster is preparing for a turtleless Ridley now. I mean, even if you know you're banking on charge, most of the time you'd want a decent amount of ammo. Especially um, if you don't have Ice Beam yet. Yeah, and it makes that Where's Ridley Oster fight much down? easier. Oh, we see. Oster's gonna check Ice and reset if it's nothing. With the extra yeah. health. Yeah, Oster is very well known for... Probably, in my opinion, the best at save scumming and knowing how to route. So since we chat, since we know um, what items they'll be finding, I want to know your predictions for what uh, where logic is, progression items are going to be hidden. We're going to go for Mama Turtle. Where's your guess? I think that Croc is going to have one of the suits needed. I think Croc is going to have gravity. Oh, Oster's going for the Iceless Escape. Ooh, just barely missed it. And Oster does want to keep Wave. Super, super powerful item to have. Yeah, Wave Plasma is probably my favorite beam combination to have. Outside of Ellen, it just basically one-shots everything. Yeah, I keep finding the E-Tank in the ship and deciding to keep it. I don't believe he uh, took the save before.
Yeah, I thought for a second that Azure was gonna check Rockamire first, but I mean having both high jump and speed booster um, makes these bulb mountain checks actually even faster. Might as well do these first. Yeah, oh, you should. It's absolutely worthwhile to do these before Croc. Croc is uh, Croc is a lost resort. It's honestly possible that Oster will do Waterway before Croc. Yeah, that's actually a good point because you were mentioning how, um, because both Wavegate and Waterway are closer, Oster might think, okay, the time sinking to those uh, might is still probably less than having to check both Croc items. Intended an X-ray. X -ray. Yep. Sees the reserve tank and. We'll not be picking that up. Oster is very much so trying to predict what Kip is going to do, what Kip will have checked, and is trying to check the other items. Like, Oster is very much so playing to get a faster time than Kip rather than trying to get a best average time. Yeah, I mean, this is one of those seeds for sure where <laughs> both of them are definitely going to feel behind. Yeah, given what they find. If it's not Croc, they might not necessarily. They might not necessarily, because... They think well, Kip that, knows We that. think that both of them will know that there's a good chance that Croc and Waterway are going to be some of the last checks that, every, that both of them are going to do. Yeah, well, Kip skipped uh, Croc already, so he might be feeling the pressure if... He has to go back there for something. Kip cannot be happy right now. Yeah, given that attic was completely empty, this is actually a seed where uh, skipping it was the, the right play. So Oster, Oster is Ridley ready now. Kip also going to be thorough, and uh, unsurprisingly, and check the gauntlet, and we'll see if he decides to keep those uh, regular morph ball bombs. That is a beautiful ship from Kip. That's an absolutely beautiful ship. Yeah, I've seen so many nice colors on a ship, I don't even know which one I like the most. I think my favorite probably is the one where the ship is like white and red. And now it's time for Oster. Do we get to see do we get to see a croc check? Croc X-ray or X-ray or waterway? I think at this late point, Oster will probably go to Croc. Just because like, if it's if it's Varia, he can go straight down. And if it's gravity, he can go straight to Meridia. Okay, nope. well, he maybe eat my words again. Interesting. Croc is so, not getting any love today. That means that Oster thinks that Kip probably already checked with Croc. Oh, that's a really, really clever save. That is the best save that we've seen for Oster so far. Oster's gonna check Waterway, Waterway, Wavegate, and Waterway, Wavegate, and X-Ray. And if there's nothing, then Oster's just gonna save Scum back to there. Yep, exactly. I'm still a little surprised you didn't go for Croc first, but those are the type of save strategies that you come up on the fly that kind of differentiate you from pretty much every other player, to be honest. Oh no! 
We were all Whoa. wrong. We were all wrong. Okay, interesting. That's an interesting order. If he's doing Mama Turtle, I can't imagine he he's not going to croc if the Mama Turtle is empty. Just because of the location of his save. Oster is trying to check whatever they think that Kip did not check. Oster is actively trying to create yeah. route divergence. No, definitely. Oster thinks that they're behind. So from that perspective, this is an incredibly intelligent play. I think I was only personally surprised just because I've seen in previous races, when the seed becomes so slow and in terms of progression, then both runners just kind of disregard um, what they or you know what they've checked and just go, okay, we're just gonna try to beat this as fast as possible. Oh, there it is Ooh, at Waterway. Keep finding grav. That is not a good sign for Arthur. Because Kip is in prime position to just go straight to Meridia now. Um, we're still on the lookout for Various Suit, but he, in fact, if Various Suit is over here at Mama Turtle, that might be even worse because Kip's just going to be in go mode in that case very shortly. Yeah, this is not looking good for Oster, but there's still so much garbage that he can throw that there's definitely space for stuff going well. Okay, Asher sees that Rube attack at Mama Turtle. And he's gonna and he's try and gonna... keep it. Alright, misses the first jump. So Asher not saves coming. Asher's probably Asher's headed straight to Waterway, it looks. Yeah, I'm not hmm. I'm actually not sure whether this is faster than just resetting. He's continuing on, I guess. Resetting feels like it'd be faster, but we haven't actually timed it out. And Oster's the sort of person who would have timed it out. And meanwhile, Kip is actually also gonna gamble on X-Ray, even though he found the gravity. Very interesting place. Kip definitely feels behind if Kip is doing this. Ooh, unfortunately missed the last D boost, but has both high jump and spring ball. And bombs. Yeah. So Oster's gonna do X-ray as well. Oster is doing X-ray as well, otherwise Oster wouldn't have gotten the health refill. Oster's just going for the spring ball jump, not even gonna bother with the D-boost. Yeah, this is a uh, very Oh no, Oster has the high jump and speed. Oster doesn't even need to deal with that. Gonna be very disappointed with the find here. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least E-Tank will fill him up. So, he doesn't have to worry about spikes on the way out. So at this point, we don't think that there's any space for any route divergence. Uh, actually, the only space for route divergence now is Croc. Yeah, um, Croc could have Varia, but given where gravity was, I'm thinking it is pretty likely uh, Varia will be somewhere in Meridia. Yeah, so this race is, is not over, but uh, Kip has taken the lead now, finding that gravity suit first. Yeah, so we guess that Croc versus Shock Tool is the route divergence left. Kip with a very commanding lead. Purely based on going waterway earlier. Waterway rather than Mama Turtle. Yeah, and Kip does uh, get the screw attack at Mama Turtle, which will also save him a bit of time in Lower Norfair compared to Aster.
And also, as you're making the right play and going straight to Waterway first, I can't imagine him gambling on uh, the wave get at this point after he picks up his. That is a track. really pretty spring ball jump. Watcher's rainbow speed echoes are also wonderful. So Kip can go straight to Dragon. Osher cannot be happy with that gravity suit. Now, is Osher gonna check Wavegate here or no? We would guess not. And just go for it. Yeah, he's skipping it. Oh, there it is! There it is. Ooh. Kept deciding to grab it on the way back. Well, yeah, might as well. Um, this, that's pretty rough because Kip has more ammo than Osher. So if, because we haven't even discussed Charge Beam. If Charge Beam is buried very, very deep, that's going to uh, make Osher spend a lot more time if he's relying on finding that item. At the same time, Kip is not very close to go ammo go mode yet. Yeah, that's true too. I mean, it, again, if charge is like, for example, like behind Dragon, and the seed has been really stingy with super missiles, you know, it, that could still swing the game. Oster is gonna check. Oh, no, Oster is gonna get the peeps from here. Osher knows the step of the thieves from earlier. You have good memory there, since uh, we still haven't found Ice Beam. Yeah, that was very uh, at Shock at Hot Wound. Kip with an almost kill. Dragon not cooperating today. Oh, the chain oh. damage. Oh, oh no! no! Oh no! Oh, that. Wow. You absolutely hate it to see when that happens. Wow. Th that is. Wow. That is an infamous way to die at Dragon. Absolutely brutal. That is going to become a famous clip in the SM community for sure. Um, I'm actually wondering if you, I mean, if if you know about it, because you can definitely explain it. Because I do not know the mechanics behind. I know it's chain damage basically, but I do not know why it happens in specific when situations. Have, when you have blue suit, you don't have iframes. So you get hit every frame, and you get damage down very quickly. Um, and if you get stuck in Dragon's hitbox while um, if you get stuck in Dragon's hitbox while you're have a blue suit, you can get damage down very quickly. And like the same thing happens if you get stuck on spikes with a blue suit, you just die instantly. So was it basically like Kip um, misaligning his shine spark or what? Basically luck. Um, basically the only thing you can do to avoid that is to be holding- is to manipulate your hitbox, which um, well first of all you don't hold left and right, second of all you hold down to reduce your- make your hitbox a bit smaller. And Kip got hit so many times even after hitting down, so there's nothing that Kip could have done. Okay, yeah I see. Kip wasn't low HP though. Kip had way more HP than you'd ever have in the Dragon 5 any percent. It's like Kip's HP was perfectly fine. It was just really, really bad luck. Yeah, meanwhile, Alistair. Ooh, he 
got the setup for the spike suit. Kip with the swaggiest moonfall in the game. Second swaggiest moonfall in the game. Swaggiest one is into the decor pit. And the vanilla space jump for Aster. Aster has to be feeling so behind right now and so under pressure. And, and in the fight in the semis against Zeb, Oster was a rainbow hit away from dying to Mother Brain. Yeah. I mean, I'd say a, the majority of players, including me, always feel behind. Um, but Azure is pretty close now to go mode. Uh, he really just needs Charger ammo. So we're going to so, guess that Azure is going to check a sand pit on the way out. Yeah. Um... It'd be interesting to think to see because again in his mind he feels like he's behind so he might make plays that he. Oh no, really Oscar's make. doing ammo. Interesting. Yeah, Kip is certain that he's behind. The only thing that could make Kip not behind would be a death of Oscar. Yeah, it's actually very unusual for Kip to not be taking saves. Like, that shows just how much Kip respects Oster. Kip is one of those players who is well known for making way more safety saves than others, especially when playing against not players who are weaker. For example, we would have a much higher chance of racing being able to beat Zost than Kip, because Zost doesn't save and Kip does. Yeah, it's. I guess it kind of depends on the player. Yeah, I, I mean, Azure is, I'd say, almost notorious for almost just not taking saves. Ooh, God, be a little bit careful there with that health. Oh yeah, Kip, Azure is one shotable by the crabs. Azure is being a little yeah, bit careful. He will get the yeah the health bomb so, or health drops from those crabs. Yeah, speaking of saves, I don't recall the last time Arthur took a save either, so if he dies, you know, again, this could be, you know, back to uh, back to a neutral race. It was just before Gravity. When Arthur oh, yeah. decided not when to do Croc. Scum. Yeah. So, if Arthur dies in L, if Oster, if Oster dies terribly without saving, then is probably going to be about even. So Kip is going to have to do a mini hell run to spring ball. But that'll just be a small hell run. Well, let's see. Kip knows where everything is. So I believe he can just go straight to gravity. I mean, he has the speed booster now. So he can just go straight to where grav is. And I believe he can just go... Clear Meridia afterwards because he has the speed booster. You're right. Yeah. For whatever reason, we had it in our head that Spigol was required to get gravity, but it, that's absolutely not required. Yeah, so even if you know, the death he took lost him so much time, just having the knowledge of where every item is means it's uh, a much smaller time loss than it looked uh, on the stream. Just because he can skip every location he knows doesn't have anything. Ozder with a beautiful chronic boost. Uh, Varia was uh, behind Botwoon. So this is clearly a seed where you were supposed to gamble on Waterway early. So 
So interestingly, both players making the right call by not going to proc. So is Oster going to go on a charge hunt? Yes, Oster is going to go on a charge hunt. Interesting. Well, yeah, I guess this is a pretty fast check if you have uh, the space jump. Ooh, nope. That might be the last reserve tank. See, there's one at Wreck Ship Preserve, one there, one at High Jump. Fortunately, missing the Shine Spark, but no worries. Unfortunately, Ostrich does not have Screw Attack. Just. Just because Ostrich missed the jump. Yep. Yeah, that's actually an interesting pl thing to think about, like, Ostrich mechanics causing Ostrich problems. So what locations is Ostrich not checked? Um, There's two more in LN. Firefleet, Croc, Wavegate, and the Lower North Area locations. And then in Meridia, I believe he just checked all the fast locations. So he skipped. Oh no, he only skipped Plasma and Shackle. Okay, so that is five more locations for Ajdor to check where Charge could be. So yeah, it definitely makes sense for Ajdor to bank on Charge at this point. Yeah, it looks like if he doesn't find that Ridley, just because of the nature of him skipping the slow checks, he would just have to uh, go ammo mode. At that point, he can just check Shaq Dole. Oh, no, Ajdor is totally preparing for ammo mode then. Like, it, it's a little bit per too slow to double back and like clear both Plasma Shaq Dole from where he is. Especially with Fantoon already dead. Speed boost are not like an Oster. Kip heading straight up to Bot Wound. Kip, a very experienced low ice runner, so not gonna have any problems with Meridia like this. Kip not gonna be able to do a full super kill. Takes out Botwing very easily. You know, Ostrich wrecking Ridley with 30 supers. Yep, Ridley being relatively friendly today. And I think that's going to be it. Yeah, very nice fight. Bye, Ostar. Boops, Ostar with a tail on the way in. Which is the absolute worst if you're doing a Ridley where you can't take any fight hits. Is Kip going to go for the Happy? That'd be awesome to see Kip get the high jump plus Happy. Looks like it. Nope. Yeah, so Kip after Dragon. Oh wait, no, he doesn't know what's behind Dragon. He'll be actually pretty happy to see that space jump, uh, just because that gives him very easy access uh, through Lower Norfair and uh, Worse Room. So Kip is honestly like in the same situation, or he's about to be in the same situation as Aster. He's just gonna be kind of behind because Aster is already 
cleared all the bosses. But and uh, with both way less ammo. Yeah, both runners still looking for charge beam though. Yes, this is game one. Game two is Chojo Logic, and we're really, really hoping for a, a game three with boss rando. Yeah, and since we do think that Kip has an advantage, Oddstar taking game one is going to be a huge benefit for seeing a game three. Yep, as they're skipping the grapple at Fire Fleas. Sees power bombs that he does not need. So he's still. He's still pretty far from ammo. <laughs> More power bombs. Okay. At uh, escape missiles. He needs a good. Like six uh, super packs at the moment. Kip with a nice ammo Dragon finish. No blue suit, no chain damage this time. Yeah. Heck. Another power bomb pack at Frank or Z missile. Heck. The game wants Oscar to find charge. Yeah, which is not going to be very nice, to be honest, because you mentioned the only locations that he's. He has left, or looks like he skipped are all very slow checks. At least from where uh, his rot would take him. Yeah, so there's Wavegate, um, and then two, two very slow ones in Meridia. And you definitely never want to go to Croc when you're in. Oh, in and Croc. Yeah. And Croc. Actually, Croc wouldn't necessarily be a terrible choice right now. Because Croc has a ton of miners. Well, the uh, they're mostly hidden. I mean, I guess there's one. The Croc EVs are kind of close, but the other ones are all kind of they're buried around the grapple beam location. Down, down, nope. Okay, yeah, Oscar's gonna... in full ammo hunt mode then. He could this consider got... going beach, but other than that, he mainly has uh, the items around landing site. That's about it from the check. This has got to feel absolutely terrible for Ajder. You feel way behind, and then you have to go on an ammo hunt like this, with with all with the G4 down. Yeah, that's the biggest part of that he actually has cleared all the bosses. Oh, is that a croc? Oh. Is that a croc? Ooh, he's turning around. Yeah. Hmm. He's baiting us all. Okay, he's taking the save first. Okay, now we're not sure what's going on. I, I can imagine what's going on in Azra's head for sure. He's like, he feels oh! so behind. Oh, 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 this is a shock troll and plasma attack. With a reset to Croc. Okay, so I guess... Hmm. We think. No, I mean, it makes sense because he's so far away from go mode uh, for ammo. So for sure he was weighing his options on whether to... Right how many more um, super missile packs he needs compared to just finding charge beam. So yeah, it looks like he... So plasma or Shack Tool first? Probably Plasma first just because it's faster. Yeah, he has those power bombs, uh... Yep, so nice 45 second cutscene of digging. Yeah, if we're able to talk to Azure following the series, it, it is definitely really interesting because this is not something that people, what makes randomizer so interesting, they're like, okay, right, what's a better gamble? The gamble on all the remaining minor locations for supers or doing these plasma shack tool checks and he finds it. Wow, that is, what a play by Azure. That is it. That's the game winning play right there. So now here's an interesting question. What route does Oster take back out? Oster has a forgotten highway or down the toilet. 
Um, well, I mean, because he's cleared Fantoon, he he just heads back to uh, what is it, Main Street, and then up Everest. So I believe I'm actually not sure. I, I I'm thinking going down toilet is still the fastest yep, route. Yep, down the toilet it looks like. Ostra has to feel massively behind. But Ostra's gonna have a very, very easy finish. Just needs to not die. Yeah, um, and... Even with 8 E-Tanks, I have seen... multiple times where Ostra has, uh... either... well, I guess it means, like, died at Mother Brain or something. Just because... He's trying to save seconds. And gets a gate glitch with three tries left. Kip not gonna be happy with her GT holds. Yeah, unfortunately for Kip, he's gonna be in the same situation. With even less ammo. So, I mean, he's just literally forced to either just scour every location for charge beam or take the time to find uh, all those super packs which we have no idea where they could be kip is absolutely gonna check check everything for charge beam there's only four outside of ellen there's only four checks which are on the way there's only four checks that kip hasn't done which are croc and water croc and the extra meridia checks A wave beam was at ice beam. That was a really neat wall jump up and over. If that's consistent, we'd love that for any percent. There's the fourth Ooh. reserve tank. I think Azure definitely skipped it at first and might have forgotten that he didn't pick it up. That's a really, really common troll on the way to the Torian. Well, Azure showing why that's why it's called the Terminator item. <laughs> So I'll just start using missiles on that door. At this point, each each super that you have is worth each super on other brain one one is worth ten frames. Yeah, and also you don't want to be you know there's a there's a small chance you get trolled by core drops, even though he does have enough missiles alone to get through uh, to mother brain. With that many missiles. Ostra will be fine. Like, the main concern is running out of missile, running out of supers in the Metroid rooms. Like, full supers versus no supers at Mother Brain 1 is only a second difference. Ostra getting really, really good RNG. The RNG we wished we could have had on our PB last night. <laughs> Yeah, there was a recent race. I think I was in one of the open races where I must have gone one of the worst super drops ever and was actually forced to go back and refill the ship. So Ostra is very, very low health. This could be Ostra's undoing if Ostra gets baby skip. If Ostra doesn't yeah, get baby definitely, skip, then Ostra will. Definitely wins. go for it. Ostra doesn't know it, but baby skip, uh, getting baby skip is the worst thing that could happen to them right now. I mean, to be fair, I'm not too worried. I've seen runners with, like, literally 20 health, extra health going to Mother Brain, and Azure has full beam combo too, so this fight will be the easiest it can possibly be. And, uh, Still, very solid big skip there. No matter how, no matter how good you are, being one shot a ball in a game is never, in a race is never a good thing.
Oh, for a second we thought that wasn't frozen. Color trickery. Yeah, I don't recall what, uh... Because what Osric likes to do is he uses uh, the palace from different hacks. I don't recall which hack he is uh, referencing this time. Oh, Kip with a not dead Ridley with only six peeps left. Yeah, his fight was not very nice, having to uh, with the um, no charge beam. And the Kip ammo is that he not had. in a good spot ammo wise at all. I believe he had barely enough, but might have missed some of his uh, shots. Really, also being very unfriendly. Oh no! Right now. Okay, that seems fine. No, that doesn't look dead. That's one hundred percent not oh, dead. Oh no! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so starting there, Kip would have had to hit every piece of ammo and every power bomb an average of one and a half times on Ridley. Yeah, he had to pretty much double hit all of them, and I know I think there was one PB that didn't hit Ridley at all. Yeah. And Kip actually is taking a break rather than restarting immediately. Good luck in round two. Good luck in game two to get. Yeah, definitely still an absolutely excellent well um, run race by Kip. Just that death was the definition of un unfortunate, really. That yeah, that chain damage is the ultimate RNG in the game. You just wreck your day. Oster, Oster is one, so GG to Oster for game one. Kip yeah, is not PB, forfeited. Yeah, for yeah, PBs, but... most people, you know, lay the PBs in the beginning because it's easier to get Ridley into the the pattern to get constant uh, double hits. Oster has taken one loss in the regular season, and I believe he is undefeated in the playoffs. As PBB helpfully pointed out, Oster has feet, and Owl has seen them. We wonder how Oster is feeling. Like, Oster must be expecting Kip to duck done any second now. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he, he definitely knows that something happened to Kip. But I would at least think or hope they would be focusing on pairing for a game two after this uh, very intense race. And we have a dot done from Mouser with official time of 1 hour, 9 minutes, 57 seconds, GG. GG.
closer to right away. Will that be yeah. time for the players to take a bathroom break. New seed will be generated. New SRL race will be generated. We'll but we probably... definitely expect it to happen within 10 minutes. Yeah, we'll probably be heading to game two very soon. And during this, we're going to step away, take a break ourselves, and we will be back for game two.